This is our good friend ERP. You may recognize him from such educational videos as What is ERP? and vague business terms that get shortened into authoritative acronyms to make them sound more credible. ERP has a friend named EDI. EDI is one of those things that keeps our world running. These two have a common interest in improving efficiency, reducing errors, and taking long walks on the beach. EDI is short for Electronic Data Interchange. Imagine you're driving to work in the morning. What parts of this image were brought to you using EDI? Not much, just your car, your cell phone, probably the clothes you're wearing, your sunglasses, your travel mug, and even the coffee in that mug. Pretty much any physical product that you would normally get from a large retailer, like a major department store, or a car manufacturer, or even a big chain premium coffee store, uses EDI to get these products to their stores, and then to you. Let's say you run a business, and that business makes and or sells things. You should never feel lonely, because no business is an island. Your business is connected to customers and vendors all over the place. Your vendors give you products and you give them money. You, in turn, give your customers products and they give you money. All this excludes banks, as they have a different business model. But how do you know what products to buy from your vendor and in what quantity? How do you know what products your customers want from you? How does anyone know how much and when to pay? These and many other questions are answered by the exchange of standardized documents. When telling a vendor that you want them to send you product in exchange for money, you use a purchase order. That purchase order contains specific information like exactly what items you want and how many of them you want. It will specify the variety in terms of size or color or model. You get the point. It will tell you when to ship these goods and where they should go. Similarly, when you want to get paid, you send your customer an invoice. This tells them how much, in what currency, and by when they should pay you. So what's EDI? EDI is what's called a standard, which, in other words, is a list of rules and codes for all of the information that appears on all of those documents. EDI ensures that all your customers and vendors, and all their customers and vendors, use the identical list of available information and codes identifying them. So it is much easier for everyone to understand each other. So EDI is a standardized list of values used for business communications between companies wanting to exchange money for products, right? Well, sort of. The term EDI is stretched to cover the software that manages all the communication using this standardized list. EDI software creates these documents, also known as transactions, and translates them into messages or mail. It sends the messages containing the transaction information to your customer or vendor. Their EDI software receives and processes the message. All this is done exactly according to the rules, or it won't be accepted by the other side. EDI does a pretty good job of converting what used to be millions of papers being sent back and forth by mail into electronic transaction documentation that gets sent and received almost instantly. Since EDI only accepts messages that have been formatted exactly right, it can be trusted. Banks will lend money based on EDI orders, and customers will often automatically pay invoices and notify you with remittances. EDI sounds pretty great, right? Business gets handled faster, fewer mistakes are made, and it's even good for the environment, with all the reduced paper use. If EDI is paired with our friend ERP, all the benefits we've discussed are multiplied, because it connects all the EDI transactions with the ERP inventory management. Here at Jonar, we've been selling and supporting our very own EDI system for almost 20 years. By designing, building, and maintaining it for all this time, we feel pretty good about calling ourselves experts. Give us a call sometime. There's always a person at the other end of the line. We'd be happy to tell you more about our friend EDI.